here at the Rolex Monterey Sport Reunion uh, here Monterey Car Week. Uh, I'm only here for about two hours so I'm just going to do a quick walk of the pits get some uh, shots of some cool cars maybe on the racetrack and uh, definitely uh, some a few odds and ends cars as I walk through the pits uh, stuff I like hopefully you will like it as well. Okay, I am at uh, Laguna Seca, and this is really insane. These are a lot of the Le Mans race cars, and if you have a die-cast model, <laughs> you probably have this exact car on your shelf right now, but this is the real deal. It is insane, the cars that are here, that one Le Mans or place, so I'm gonna take a little walk through here. 1929 Bentley, oh, number one. Oh, wow. It's overwhelming right here. I, I'm looking over here, and I see the... Uh, you got the BMW race cars over there. Oh my goodness, this is really nice. I'm going to do my best to walk and talk. Okay, here's the 1931 Alfa Romeo 8C 2300 long nose chassis. Now, to be clear, I don't know if these are the exact cars. I believe in some cases they are the exact cars. I would assume that they are, but boy, this is unbelievable. We got a couple GTOs here, over here, Ferrari GTOs, the real deal. This is a 1961 Porsche 356 Abarth Carrera GTL. Here's a 1962 Alpha Zagato Coda Trunk Car. Wow, what's really amazing and great is that a lot of these are still driven today. All right, I gotta hop to the GTOs here real quick. Look at this, two GTOs in a row. We got a 935 Porsche here, a couple of them. Wow, I'm having trouble processing all of this. <laughs> all right, looks like we got a Aston Martin here, 1949 DB2. <laughs> Now what's cool, and I'll put some of the history of these cars, uh, there's a placard above me or a banner that gives the history of each of these individual cars. So I will fill in the gaps with some fun facts about these. We've got, let's see, that's a 1970 Porsche 935. Now, you know what? I think that's the uh, Bruce Meyer car, if I'm not wrong on that. Here's a 962 Rothman Porsche. There's another crazy Ferrari here, 1964 250 LM. Wow. And then we got a Vizzarini. Right past it, but let me go back here. It's 1950 Cadillac Series 61. Oh, wow. All right, 1950 Cadillac Series 61 Le Mans. Look at this thing.
It's got a tag. It can be driven on the street. All right, then we got really got a going. Wow, D-type. I mean, this is automobile royalty every turn. All right, 1954 for 356.2. The next to it. Wow, we've got the 1952 Mercedes-Benz Type 194. Never seen one of these in my life. Oh my goodness. And here's a 1955 Jaguar D-Type, one of the most gorgeous cars ever. Exhaust I missed on the Mercedes. And here's the Bitsarini. I skipped over this one, 1992 Porsche 968 Turbo RS. Alright, so stay tuned because I will give all the specs of these cars at the end here. Oh, this is a Pinos. I'm a big fan of Pano's as I toured the factory back when they were first starting and I have some factory pictures I will post as a YouTube video in the next year or so. But these were dominant for a while. And the pictures I took, uh, I actually have a picture of the uh, first factory race car. I forgot what they called it, but it had like a mystic paint job. Now here's a 2003 Corvette. C5R. I must admit, I'm more into the older cars versus the newer, <laughs> but uh, they're still all oh, very cool. Here's the 1967 Chaparral 2F. Uh, if I remember right, this is when they did the big wing and it got immediately barred. Too much of an advantage. Now there's the iconic. Race car. You see, you got another Panos behind it. Ford GT40. Now, I thought Wayne Creamy owned this car, but I might be mistaken. Yeah, 1967 Ford GT40. Alright, we got a look at this 1958 Ferrari 250. Look at this shot right here. You got the number 21 Porsche 917 there. Alright, 1958 Porsche 718 RSK. This looks like one of the five or six. You could either do a double seat configuration or single seat. You can see how you can slide stuff around down there. All right, I gotta hop over to the 917 Porsche Gulf Oil car. 
Now, if you're familiar with my podcast, you'll probably know this was my logo. <laughs> this exact car was my logo uh, for the podcast. And it was a shot, something like this. I mean, this thing is so much smaller in real life. <laughs> All right, here's a crazy BMW. Nice. 1973. 3.0 CSL. Flying Lizard. Porsche. Oh, look at that exhaust. <laughs> All right, here's a 1974 Porsche 911 RSR. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's nuts. Delta Wing from 2012. Alright, there's the 4 GT that famously came back and won. Ford said we need to go back to Le Mans when with the launch of the 4 GT and they did. Alright, I skipped this 1960 Porsche A-Bar Carrera. GTL and the 1959 Ferrari 250 long wheelbase competition. Looks like a uh, TDF Tour de France. So I'm here on a Thursday, which I've always been told is the day to come because it's not too crowded. All right, like I said, stay tuned for some fun facts about some of these cars that really caught my eye. Mostly the older ones, the Ferraris. Well, those will be here soon.